Would you please remain standing for the singing of the Star Spangled Banner? Thank you. Would you all please be seated? Well, today is a day to celebrate our graduates' wonderful accomplishments. It also is a formal ceremony, so please, if you have not already done so, please shut off all cell phones so be, they will not be going off during the ceremony. Hello, my name is Christine Messina, and I am the director of the Practical Nurse Program. I would like to thank you all for joining us tonight for the pinning and graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Today is a long-awaited celebration for all these hardworking, exhausted students and instructors present. So please, let's take a moment to congratulate them. So let's congratulate them again. Before I address the students, I would first like to acknowledge and introduce some of our guests that are in the audience tonight. A few of the school committee members are here tonight to show their support. First, I would like to announce, um, acknowledge the mayor's assistants, Erastus Mwangi. Thank you for coming. Lee Gitcher, who's chairman representing Lowell, Paul Morin, Secretary representing Drakeit. <laughs> Curtis LeMay, representing Lowell. <laughs> I would also like to welcome and introduce the superintendent, Jill Davis, who would like to say a few words to the graduates and guests. Jill. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored and privileged to celebrate with you this evening this tremendous milestone in your lives. Your courage and determination to succeed is truly a testament to your commitment in becoming licensed practical nurses. As, yay. <laughs> As 
As graduates entering the nurses pro nursing profession, please take the lessons and skills you have learned from your instructors and each other and transfer them to the patients that you will care for. You will not always have the cure or solution, but you will always have yourselves to offer your caring support, and through relationships, you have the power to affect and change lives. We are grateful you have chosen to be our next generation of nurses and so proud of you all. Congratulations, I know each and every one of you will make a difference and do great things. Thank you. Without the support of the school committee and school administration, I have to be honest, this program that has been educating future nurses since 1974 would not be as successful as it is. And we are very successful and we expect a lot from our grads, so do not let us down, because we'll <laughs> haunt you. Okay. To the graduates, it's always amazing to watch a transformation. Day one, everyone is eager and excited to be starting a 10-month LPN program. I know some of you hated me day one because I was the one that had to come up with all the policies and all the things that you didn't want to hear about attendance and test, test grades and points taken off. Um, so I hope, I, please, I hope it, I won't take it personally. Um, <laughs> but you signed up for a 10-month program knowing that how hard could it be? It's only 10 months, it's a piece of cake. No, that is before you realize that life still continues. Working, caring for children, paying bills, having car troubles, relationships to maintain, getting married, and family struggles and tragedies, to name a few. This program is physically, intellectually, and mentally draining, but your tenacity and devotion to your schooling and peers are commendable. This year has been unlike none other. Now let's focus on the future. Congratulations on your achievements and hard work. As you leave us, go and be sure to make a difference in your patients' lives and in health care. Patients need you now more than ever. So congratulations. And I would like to introduce my support staff, because without support staff, uh, my job would be much more miserable. Um, I'd like to uh, introduce my administrative assistant, Donnie Sauer, but I think she's still at the front door waiting for late arrivals to come in. Her level of assistance to the faculty, students, and I is irreplaceable and important to the program success. She responds to my emails night and day, including weekends, and always helps me right away or the next day. Our job truly is seven days a week, and I know she's not sitting right here, um, but everybody knows how hard Donnie works, and I'm sure you appreciate that. <coughs> Jen Machado is over here. <laughs> Jen Machado is the reason that you're sitting on this stage. She is our admissions director, who is the reason that you got chosen to partake in this program. So let's thank her for that. <laughs> Sue Allen, my program coordinator. who has taken on a role to keep track of absences, devising schedules, making the day and evening division run smoothly. Um, she's touched both days and evenings lives, so she's also very well known and very um, appreciated. Um, Kathy Keough, I don't know where she's sitting up, she's over there, is our placement director. Kathy retired many, 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 many years ago, but she did not leave us. 
She is our placement director, and because of our her hard work and effort working, we have a 95% job placement rate for the class of 2022. So I and the former graduates thank you for that. And when you see emails come from Kathy Keough, answer them. <laughs> because she's posting jobs and trying to get you employed. So she will be chasing after you long after you've left us. But that's where the 95% job placement rate came from. So we thank Kathy for that. <laughs> Along with the amazing support staff, I have a faculty that is second to none. I can't say enough about how hard they work, how they truly care about each and every student and are passionate about the success of our program. I would like to introduce the day faculty. You will notice that you will hear some of their names mentioned twice. Without the faculty doing double shifts, this graduation would not have been able to occur. Not all the staff was able to make it this year, but they also contributed throughout the year. So I've already introduced Sue Allen, but I'll introduce Sue Allen again. Um, April Champa. Melissa Craig, <laughs> Helen French, <laughs> Jennifer Machado, <laughs> and Rosemary Lynch, who does double duty. Over <laughs> the evening division instructors, Mandy Ayotte, Laurie Hunt, <laughs> Jennifer Knowlton, <laughs> Anna Curgis, <laughs> Heather Labrie, <laughs> Jessica Nystrom, <laughs> Tia O'Neill, <laughs> uh, Denise Rocha, and Jennifer Sawyer. I am thankful and grateful for my wonderful and dedicated faculty. Thank you, you kept this year together and we have a lot of work ahead of us. I would now it's time to introduce the class representatives. We've, elect, we've decided to elect three different um, representatives for each division, and I'd like to introduce them. For evenings, Natalie Giraldo. <laughs> Gabrielle Cyrus. <laughs> and Trang Pham. For the day division, we have Juanita Pardo, <laughs> Benita Kalala, <laughs> and Adeline Vale. <laughs> okay, so now it's, it's time for the students to have their address. So I'm going to introduce from the day division, Juanita Pardo. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, faculty, proud family members, and most importantly, the LPN graduating class of 2023. Yeah. Yeah. Today is a great occasion to celebrate the summit of countless hours of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. It is my great honor to stand before you as we recognize the remarkable achievements of these individuals who are about to start their professional journey as licensed practical nurses. As we reflect upon the journey that led us here, we cannot help but be overwhelmed by a mix of emotions. Excitement, gratitude, relief, <laughs> and maybe a little bit of bittersweet nostalgia. But let me assure you, this is not the end. This is the beginning of a nursing voyage. Throughout our time in this program, we have learned invaluable lessons that extend beyond the margins of a classroom or a facility. We have learned the true meaning of empathy, 
the ability to place ourselves in the shoes of those under our care, to offer comfort, and to be a source of strength during, during the most challenging times. Let us not forget the countless, countless individuals who have supported us along the way, to our families who provided love, understanding, and encouragement during those long nights of studying and the never-ending exams. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Your belief in us fueled our determination and allowed us to persevere. To my family, thank you guys. I love you. Without you guys by my side, this wouldn't have been possible. To our friends and classmates, we became a little family during this journey. Thank you for being a shoulder to lean on and for reminding me that the F.A. Davis pre-quiz was due. <laughs> Together we survived the micro tests and Mrs. Allen's lectures. <laughs> of course, we owe a tremendous amount of appreciation to the faculty. You, you, the educators. <laughs> <laughs> Mentors and guides have instilled in us the knowledge, skills, and values that will shape our professional lives. Your wisdom, passion, and extreme patience have shaped us into the competent and compassionate professionals we have become. Our journey does not end here. As LPNs, we have profound responsibility, a responsibility to advocate for our patients, to be their voice when they cannot speak, to champion their rights, and to provide holistic care that addresses not just their physical needs, but their emotional and spiritual well-being as well. As we embark this new chapter, let us embrace the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead with open minds. Let us remember the core values of our noble profession, integrity, respect, and compassion, and let them guide us in all that we do. To my fellow LPN graduates, May we find fulfillment and purpose in our work, and may we always strive to be the difference we wish to see. Thank you. Very nicely done, nicely done. Introducing the evening's student representative is Natalie Geraldo Mesa. Good evening, everyone. My name is Natalie Geraldo, and I'm one of the class representatives of the Licensed Practical Nurse Evening Class of 2023. I would like to begin my speech by congratulating our graduating class for this immense accomplishment. Each individual on the stage tonight demonstrated an exceptional resilience, perseverance, and academic excellence to earn their spot in the ceremony. And we should all feel extremely proud for making it to this day. I would like to thank you all for choosing me as your speaker. It was an absolute honor to represent this class filled with bright and hardworking individuals, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Today, we not only celebrate our individual achievements, but also acknowledge the invaluable support we have received from our families. You have all played the roles of babysitters, counselors, and sometimes even cheerleaders to help us make it through these past 10 months. Thank you for being our pillars of strength encouraging us each day and believing in us, even in the toughest of times when we could hardly believe in ourselves. While we can all agree that this program was a rewarding experience and for many of us a blessing to be given this opportunity, we must also admit that there were times in which this day seemed far out of our reach, as if it would never come. I remember arriving on our first day of orientation 10 months ago. We were 40 strangers who walked into a classroom with hearts full of hope excitement, and uncertainty for the future. As the instructors explained every rule and every expectation, I could not help but notice the blank stares that would plaster in all of our faces, like we had all just been giving a life sentence. <laughs> I remember walking back to my car that night and thinking, what did I just get myself into? <laughs> and if you're wondering if things got any easier past that point, they didn't. But thankfully, I was surrounded by the overwhelming support of my classmates. I am grateful for the bonds we created and the unity we displayed as a class from the beginning until the very end. I would like to thank Charlene for starting off our clinical days with a prayer to strengthen our group and for encouraging <laughs> and for encouraging me when I was too scared to treat one of my very first patients. Alexis, 
who during our super long lectures, <laughs> during our super long lectures would tell the instructors, hey miss, don't you think we should stop here and maybe finish tomorrow? <laughs> you had the courage to say what we were all secretly thinking. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> to our brother Charles, who lit up our class with his smile and whose positive attitude and encouraging words could transform anyone's bad day. <laughs> Julianne and Desiree, who were my studying partners and also my crying buddies when times got rough. Finally, thank you to Trang and Gabby who helped me lead this amazing class. Every person in this class is unique and definitely left their mark, but I would stand here for another 10 months if I went into detail. Together, we celebrated many victories and laughed at our defeats. Even the surgical exam wasn't enough to take us down. <laughs> but of course, we would not have been able to reach this milestone without the help and support of our phenomenal instructors. They danced, put on wigs, jumped, and ran across the classroom. Anything to keep our attention and help us learn. Yes, Jen, I'm talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for every study guide, review, every story, and word of wisdom you have shared with us along this process. Your dedication to our academic growth has been truly transformative, and we are immensely grateful for all you have done for us. As we embark on the next chapter of our lives, we must never forget the privilege and responsibility that comes with being a nurse. Each day, we will have the opportunity to touch lives, make a difference, and be a beacon of hope in someone's darkest hours. However, I am confident that each and every one of us will succeed in whatever path we choose to take after today, and we will hold our profession to the highest of standards. I wish you all to remain humble, strive for excellence always, and remember that if you were able to conquer the challenges of this program, you can conquer anything you set your mind to. Once again, congratulations to our graduating class of excellent new nurses. Be proud of what you have achieved and remain hopeful for what is yet to come. I would like to end with a quote, which, by the way, you need to know. <laughs> May our journeys remain fulfilling, our hearts remain compassionate, and our impact on the lives of others be profound. Thank you. Very nice, nicely done. It's now time to announce some special awards that will be given out to the students. They don't know this. There are um, also some academic and clinical awards that will be given out to recognize the special achievements that have been earned throughout this intense demanding program. First, the graduates with the highest academic average, the day student with the 98.36 average is Molly G. <laughs> For the evening division, the student with the 91.93 average is Trang Pham. The instructors will now present the awards for clinical performance. For the day division, April Champa. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm very fortunate to be the one to announce the award for clinical excellence. Clinical excellence is an award that is given to a student that has either met or exceeded our expectations in clinical throughout the year. Um, the student that I have the pleasure of announcing this award for um, has consistently impressed her instructors with her preparation, motivation to learn, and attention to detail since the beginning of the program. In each clinical rotation, she's taken advantage of her learning opportunities and sought out ways to expand her skills and experiences. 
She took extra time, even on the weekends sometimes, contacting instructors to uh, understand the connections between theory and clinical and understand why the medications work the way they do in labs as well. <clears throat> Um, in the acute care setting, she was also able to build on her prior experiences and serve as a guide and role model to her peers in clinical. I am very happy to award the Clinical Excellence Award to Leah Thorburn. For the evening division, we have Jennifer Knowlton. The Clinical Excellent Award is presented by the faculty to one student in each program who best exemplifies the core values of nursing during clinical. I have the honor to present this award to a student in the evening program who has demonstrated compassion and leadership throughout this year. The award recognizes the hard work and dedication this student has shown. This student consistently prepared for clinical by researching empirical knowledge necessary to understand the nursing situation and integrating knowledge into practice. This student reflects on practice, is open to learning, and shares nursing situations with other students. This student is competent with technical skills as well as caring behaviors. The nurses at your clinical sites loved you. They enjoyed your positive attitude and the ability to make everyone feel comfortable. They appreciated the fact that you were willing to help anyone who was in need. This student is well respected by peers and faculty. I had the privilege to have you in my simulation clinical group. Your positive attitude and smiling face made my day. You demonstrated leadership and always helped your peers to be successful. You inspire trust through competence and preparation. You have a natural ability to listen to your patients and determine what is the best care based on their needs. Your patients appreciate your professionalism and kindness. I am privileged to present this award for clinical excellence to Trang Pam. <laughs> The instructors presenting awards to the graduates who have demonstrated the most clinical growth. For the day division, we have Sue Allen. So. <laughs> when the day graduates give you the proper medication at the right dose and the right time, they can, you can all thank me for my boring <laughs> lectures <laughs> that they had to suffer through. <laughs> Just kidding. So when it comes to most clinical growth, it's always very difficult to choose a student because every single one of you has demonstrated remarkable knowledge and skill gain. But there was one student who really stood out to the clinical instructors as outstanding. So once upon a time, Bella. did you think you were going to graduate without another story? <laughs> so once upon a time, there was an individual decided to enroll at Greater Lowell Technical School to start their nursing journey towards becoming an LPN. This individual did have some experience as a CNA, but came into fundamental clinicals with an eager mind and inquisitiveness. This eagerness to learn stayed strong and constant throughout the three semesters right up until the last day of clinical. The student demonstrated a holistic, compassionate approach to care with every patient, looking beyond the medical diagnosis to the individual being cared for. The student managed clinical time wisely and wanted to understand the complexities of care. As theory became more intricate and challenging, so did the critical thinking questions that the student would ask the instructors. Even during the last week of clinical, the student took ownership of their learning and recognized potential problems of the patient under their care, making every day an opportunity for growth. 
So this isn't the end of the story for this student or for any of you. It isn't the end of clinical growth, but it's really just the beginning of what I anticipate will be lifelong learning for Claudia Cardone. For the evening division, I'd like to introduce Denise Rocha. Good evening. It's for the short people. Being a nurse can be incredibly rewarding, but it's definitely not a job for everyone. Nursing is a lifestyle choice that requires both physical and mental energy and getting there is a journey like no other. Clinical growth is that journey. From the time new students step through the doors in September until graduation day, our goal is to ensure they learn something that gives them the privilege to sit on the stage and qualify to take their nursing board exams once they leave this room tonight. There are a number of nursing skills required to be considered a great nurse, and some students come into the program with some of these skills already mastered while others enter the program with only ideas of what a nurse and nursing might be. Those skills include confidence, the ability to connect the dots, critical thinking, relation-based care, which is also known as bedside manner, leadership qualities, a desire for lifelong learning, thinking like a nurse, working well with your colleagues, consideration of alternative points of view, and the ability to advocate for your patients. While many students on this stage demonstrate all of these skills now, one nursing student in particular for the evening program has demonstrated tremendous growth in all of these areas. The faculty of the evening division of the Greater Lowell LPN Nursing Program are all proud to present this year's Clinical Growth and Award to Charlene Francis. <laughs> this year, I was approached with an awesome opportunity for the day and evening students. This family sent me an email. They had a family member, they will ex um, ex 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 explain her, who wanted to honor her memory. So what we did is we um, separated out the days and the evenings. We made them write, um, <sighs> write what? <laughs> you had to write an essay. Thank you. Um, and um, anonymously, the essay was sent to the family and they chose one person for days and one person for evenings to give $500 each out of the goodness of their heart. I would like to introduce the family to, for the Gladys Dyer Memorial Scholarship. Christine, thank you so much for allowing us to let this happen tonight. Um, I'm going to try not to cry, but um, my mom was Gladys B. Dyer. She taught here for 22 years. Yeah. And we are so proud to honor each and every one of you. Um, we are a family of nurses, so we do understand what it takes. My sister graduated on this stage 44 years ago. And she has now uh, earned a PhD in nursing. Yay! 
So in Gladys's memory, we said, what can we do that would really mean the most to her? What meant so much to her, raising eight children under very difficult circumstances, was her profession and helping others. So thank you to each of you who submitted an essay. Um, we all read through them, and it was very exciting to read the each and every one, and you each have your own story, so good for you. Um, it is with honor that we would like to recognize and present the scholarship for the Gladys B. Dyer Memorial Nursing to Martin Musemi in the evening program. Yay, Martin. <laughs> and to Molly G in the day program. Thank you again to all of you and congratulations, nurses. Thank you for thinking of us when you think of your mother. We also have an award that we've been giving out for years, and I would like to have Kathy Keogh come up to say a few words about the Sheila Herbert Award. Hi, everybody. Um, Sheila Herbert. She uh, worked her, her here at Greater Lowell for her entire career. She started as an English teacher, and then she, uh, I can't mention all the different jobs she had as she uh, stayed with our, our facility here. Uh, but she ended up as being superintendent director uh, before she retired. The special thing about Sheila, and the thing that I remember the most about her is that she referred to all the students in this building as her kids. And um, so, we, in honor of Sheila, she couldn't, she uh, sends her regrets, she couldn't be here tonight. She usually attends and gives this award herself. Uh, but in honor of her, uh, we are presenting an award to a student who was one of, not that it was her kid, but a student who went to this school, this school as a high school student. So, um, is this, Christine, that's it? No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would like to, I don't want to mess up. <laughs> uh, so, in honor of Sheila, and all the love that she has given uh, this school and, how, and the love that she feels for this school, uh, Natalie Geraldo Mesa. Hey. <laughs> you, wonderful speech. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Now for the event of the ceremony that the graduates have been waiting for, the presentation of the diplomas and the pins. The school chairman, Lee Gitcher, will award the diplomas and the nursing faculty will have the honor of pinning the students and presenting the lamps for the lighting of the tapers and reciting of the Nightingale Pledge. We ready? All right. Okay. Juanita Pardo. Yeah! I love you, big sis. Natalie Geraldo Mesa. Benita Kalala. <laughs> Gabrielle Cyrus.
Adeline Vale. Trang Pham. Rosalind Agbu. Jacqueline Ashuku. Nicole Arosis. Alexis Beamid. <laughs> Claudia Cardona. Angelina Chim. <laughs> Meredith Bowden. <laughs> Jacqueline Cove. Yomira Diaz Alvarado. <laughs> Michelle Driscoll. Charlene Francis. Zachary Ecrit. <laughs> Charles Cato. Kimberly Flynn. Rebecca K. Magisha. <laughs> Molly G. Leanne Hebert. <laughs> Paul Kinajui. Madden.
Grace Kihara. Vanessa Mugaga. <laughs> Michaela Lord. Alan Mukundi. <laughs> Jacqueline Mina. <laughs> Emmanuel Mugisha. Fauzi Abdallah Mukasa. Annette Butoni. <laughs> Martin Musiman. <laughs> Stephen Mawadi. Sharif Nalule. <laughs> Angela Nambusi. <laughs> Monica Namatov. Erica Nil. <laughs> Jonita Naziwa. <laughs> Margaret Jaguna. Tabitha Ganga. <laughs> Selmaya Otiano. Tamira Owens. Yeah. 
Adreen Jenga. Logan Peladu. Diana Jenga. Lisa Pennington. Oanji Danso. <laughs> Nikki Perry. <laughs> Desiree Polino. Yarina Pernade Ramirez. <laughs> Jonelle Pierre. Jamal Raja. Yeah, sure. Congratulations. Liana Rosado. Julia Smith. Yeah. Silver. Julia Silver, sorry. <laughs> Lauren Smith next. Congratulations. Lauren Smith. Sheila Tembo. <laughs> Leah Thorburn. <laughs> Paul Tukashaba. Mary Valorin. George Tutu. Abraham Irura Washira. <laughs> Julianne Vargas. Hassan Waswa.
Congratulations to the class of 2023. Would the, all right, <laughs> would the graduates please stand? Now is time for the Nightingale Pledge. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to pass my life in purity and to practice my profession faithfully. I will abstain from whatever is the and will not take or more not administer any harmful drugs. I will do all Graduates, please be seated and turn their chairs to face the back of the stage.
a vacation I need to stop giving my heart and letting them break it Waiting for it to get better, I've been impatient Yeah, I've been chasing oh, You be on all of that nonsense It's always surprises, always a process I'm way too used to it, it's way too often It's so exhausting, I'm so exhausted Oh yeah, you be on all of that nonsense No, I'm still surprised when it's always a process I'm way too used to it, happens too often It's so exhausting, I'm so exhausted Send me on my way, 
stood with our shaking hands The crowds in stands went wild We were the kings and the queens And they read off our names The night you danced like you knew our lives would never be the same You held your head like a hero On a history book page It was the end of a decade But the start of an age Congratulations on the news making us proud. 